Hi, this is Denise Matthew, and after a while away, I'm back again with a few extra techniques to show you, as well as the usual jewelry projects that we usually do. Today, I want to do some love knot spacer beads. Somebody actually asked me how these were made, and it was fun sort of learning how to make them. So, let's get started. Today, I'm working with three eight millimeter jump rings that I've cut myself and filed the ends so that they fit nice together. You want a really nice tight fit when you're working with jump rings when you're soldering. So just using my third hand, I just place this jump ring inside and then heat it up a little bit. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I like it because it lets the solder paste cling a little bit better to the metal. So just adding a bit of easy solder. The easy solder paste is, has everything you need in it to solder and it's much easier to use for me. Then I'm just adding some heat and I'm just gonna wait until that solder flows and you can see it sort of shifted and flowed and filled in that space. Now I just have to quench it in a bowl of water. Now it's nice and cool and I can handle it. And if you notice, the joint is completely closed and that's what I want. Now I'm just gonna take the same circle that I just, just soldered and then just add another jump ring to it. Close that jump ring up, nice and tight as I did before because you want to have the edges as close as possible because it'll give you a better joint when you solder it. And just back into my third hand, the exact same procedure. So just heating it up, then adding the solder paste. Then heat again and wait until it flows. Basically, it just gets really nice and shiny and fills in the space, as you can see there. Now that's done. Back to the quench bowl. Basically, it's just a bowl of water that you can't see, but it's there, and you can hear a little sizzle. And now you have two rings, and they sort of want to sit together, stack one on top of the other, as you notice. Now you're just going to add that third to make your love knot, and that's the third jump ring. So it's open. And I'm just going to slide it in. Now it has to go in underneath between the two rings and I'll have pictures at the end so that you can see exactly how to do that. So then just do the exact same thing. I'm just going to close that, close that joint as tight as possible. Then back into the third hand. Heat. Solder paste. You'll notice there's sometimes a little smoke, so it's nice to have good ventilation when you're working with solder paste and soldering. And then just continue on until it flows, which it just is doing right now. And then that's that. Quench it. And you're almost done. So you just want to start, start to try and form it so that it's sort of making like a rosette or a love knot, whatever you want to call it. The last thing I'm going to do is just put it on the edge of my fire brick. This is a charcoal fire brick that I like because it, it gives a nice heat back to the item when I'm firing it. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Heat it up and then not too much because I don't want to make that uh, solder melt again. So I'm just adding a couple of solder uh, paste again, certain areas, just to keep the whole rosette together. So when I use it, it'll be a spacer bead rather than wiggling all over the place. Just some more heat, wait till everything flows. And then it's nice and bright red. And that's done. So last thing to do is just quench it as I did before. And that would be your completed spacer bead. The last thing you want to do is you want to pickle it. I use organic pickle, which is one cup of vinegar to one tablespoon of salt, and you just keep it heated. It'll take all that fire scale off, and then you'll be left with just a, a kind of a dull finish. Then you need to polish it. I like to use stainless steel shot, and since I don't have a fancy tumbler, I just put it in a shaker, a plastic shaker container, and just shake and shake and shake. 
I before I do it, you have to add about half the container filled with water, a drop of Dawn, and just shake. Now this is my torch. I like the blazer, it's quite good. And the solder paste. And there's several people that sell this, it's not hard to come by. And a little goes a long way. And for the end, I just actually added a bit of stamp enamel and it gave it sort of a, a an artificial patina, but you can also use a copper patina if necessary. So that's the end of the project. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.